Nuelet has to be my new favorite character in Genshin. A very simple yet fun to play character. His new charge attack is pretty unique and fun to use. But what about his build? Well, he has quite a few choices, but you're not gonna have a hard time deciding which things to use for him, especially after watching this video. In this video, I'll be covering his talents, comparing his best artifacts, all the different variations of his artifacts, his weapons, and so much more. So let's begin with his talents. Let's first start with his skill and then ult because his charge attack is his main way of dealing damage and can be easier understood after learning what his burst and skill does. So firstly, his skill is very straightforward. Basically, you use a skill which will deal some hydro damage and then create resource water droplets, which when absorbed will heal Nuvalet. There's also some instance of Nomad damage, which is a mechanic that can be used against Fontaine enemies. Next up is his burst. Pretty similar to his skill, just produces 6 more droplets, which are really important for Nuvalet and good hydro damage. Both his skill and the alt scale of his max HP. Now for his most important part of his kit, which is his charge tag. When you hold down, Nuvalet will charge up to deal a huge amount of damage in some sort of a hydro beam attack. And when you're charging up, you can actually absorb up to 3 source water droplets, which don't actually increase the amount of damage he does, but instead reduces the amount of time it takes to charge up and will also heal Nuvalet. The healing is actually pretty important because his charge attack does reduce 8% of his HP every 0.5 seconds, and if you have your Nuvalet on max HP, it takes about two charge attacks to be back down to 50% HP and not below that because this HP reduction can only reduce his HP until he is at 50% of his max HP. But you actually always want him to be at high HP because of his other passive which increases his hydro damage depending on his current HP. So if you're above 30% of his HP, you will gain this effect. In terms of priority, his charge attack is by far the most important one and so make sure you level that up first and then his burst and skill. These can be leveled up equally. Basically, you want to have the source water droplets around the field at all times by using his skill and burst. Unfortunately, at C0, he doesn't get any interruption resistance, which can be a bit annoying, but it's honestly not that bad like Wanderer because Nuvalet can heal himself and so he's pretty self-sufficient unlike Wanderer. Another one of his talents is the one which increases your damage greatly if your party does hydro related reactions. And this damage bonus is actually pretty strong and definitely rewards you for using different elements. One thing to note is that you cannot have one character doing multiple reactions of the same kind. You can't have like Shang Leng doing wave again and again, but instead you need multiple reactions to be done. Uh, so you need different hydro reactions to be done to proc this effect. And then the last talent just increases your speed when you're swimming. So I think that's all the basics for Nuvedet. If you want to know more, I actually have a video coming up soon that will be a more in-depth in, you know, team rotations and how you use Nuvedet. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe for the upcoming video. Now let's move on to the artifact sets. Here are four artifact sets, the March of the Hunter set, the Heart of Depth set, Nameless Dreams and Wanderer's Trope. Now there's something you should know before we begin and it's just that this uh, comparison is not going to be really really accurate but it should give you a visual representation of which set is better. For example for the Marjorie set what I did to you know simulate the extra crit rate you would get from the set because well, you can't really see that here uh, is to well give it more crit damage instead of the crit rate. Now in reality you would get be any stats such as HP percent, energy recharge or whatever but this is just to show you know how much more value you can get because of the Marjorie Hunter set. So let's begin now. Now you'll see just how much better Marjorie set really is than the other three sets. Uh, they're not horrible but they can be used if you don't have the Marjorie set ready like I do. I really don't have any good stats so i'll be using something like the heart of depth set because it's not that bad and can be used but you should really get marcho's set whenever you can because first of all the set itself is going to be really useful for future characters and the other set that is on the domain is also pretty pretty good it is a very resident efficient domain I've also done this for skills because some of the artifact sets buff your skills and bursts uh, while the others only buff your normal attack and charge attacks. So you can see just how much difference it really makes. Next up I have the various 2B sets that you can use for Nouvellet. So first of all it is a combination with an HP% percent set and an Hydro Damage bonus set. So in the HP% percent set it could be something like Warukasha's Glow and there's also the Tenacity of the Millet. 
at 100 damage bonus you can use something like heart of depth or you could also use nymph dream and the second one is two piece hp percent and two piece smart Jose. and then finally we have two piece hydro damage bonus and, and two piece smart Jose set now the reason why you would want to go with a two piece set is probably because you don't have a four piece set ready and one advantage they hold over the four piece sets is the fact that well you can choose the best artifact sets from the combination of these two so you can have the best substats. Now here you're going to see that they're all pretty close to each other. And again, all these sets have the same crit damage and HP as you can see. So you can really see the damage difference between these 2P uh, sets and the 4P sets. And as you can see, uh, they're all pretty close. So you can go with either one, whichever has the best substats. Again, I tested it for the skill as well because uh, the Marjorie set doesn't really buff your burst or skill. So while the other one does, so of course... The first one will do a lot better than the March Asset set one. Now that we know that March Asset set is the best set for Nuvelet, which variation of the March Asset set is best for him? So here I have the four variations that I could think of, which is the Hydro Damage Person Goblet, then the Crit Circlet for the first combination, then Hydro Damage Person Goblet with HP Person Circlet, then HP Person Goblet with a Crit Circlet, and finally an HP Person Goblet and a HP Person Circlet. Now you'll see that the Hydro Damage Person Goblet and the HP Percent Circlet is actually pretty close to the generic uh, way of building Nuvelet, which is the Hydro Damage Person Goblet with the Crit Circlet. So basically, if you have enough crit in your build, then you could potentially use a HP Circlet for Nuvelet. But there's something we shouldn't do at all is use both HP Percent Goblet and HP Percent Circlet. That is not a good choice, and as you can see, it gives the worst results. Now let's talk about the substats you would want on your artifact sets. For substats, first of all, you need to get enough energy recharge to make sure you're able to burst regularly to have enough droplets in the field. The amount of ER you need can vary depending on the weapon and themes you're using. Most of you will be using Prototype Amber and it provides you with energy and does reduce the amount of energy you need. I would say up to 130% energy recharge is really good and shouldn't pose any problems but if you're running a team without any team members that you know help with er or any weapons that don't give you any energy then you may want to go above 130 er after you have enough er nuvedet likes crit like any other dps but also hp percent so after you have enough crit and a good crit ratio you can start going for hp percent to really increase his damage for him hp percent is very very good as well now let's talk about his weapons. For his best weapons, the Prototype Amber is a very good weapon that most of us will be using. First of all, gives you HP and energy, both of which Nuvelet would like to have, and can also heal your other party members, which is another bonus. Other weapons include Sacrificial Jade, which if you are buying the Battle Pass, is what I would recommend and at higher refinements can be really, really good. Of course, his best in slot will be his weapon, but I think the prototype Amber suffices. Witsit, unfortunately, is not that good because the three stats you can get, which are EM, attack percent, and elemental damage bonus, two out of the three stats aren't that good for him, so the damage is really inconsistent. The new event weapon, Ballad of the Banthas Blue, can be decent as well, but I would just recommend giving Nuvadet prototype Amber, but maybe if you don't want to build this, the weapon, or maybe you can't build one, then you could try to use your other weapons, such as the Favonius Codex, which will provide you with a lot of ER, which maybe if you're in a situation where you really need a lot of er then maybe you can use another weapon would be thrilling tales which can be used to buff another character for whatever team you're trying to make or the hakushin ring which can be used in taser teams the other hp or crit scaling five star weapons will be good too but sacrificial jade is actually his second best option even better than the five stars and that's all for this video i have a few more videos coming up soon one for nuvelet's best teams and one more for his advanced sips if you guys want to watch that, then make sure you're subbed. And yeah, that's all for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.